0824-1054. Karibu ni sana. Karibu sana, Marianne. Thank Salimia you. Watu. Finally, I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, so Ego, four months old now, yeah? Four months old. We've done it. Uh -huh. First album. Why did you decide you wanted to call it Ego? Um, a lot of people assume what people think Ego is um, narcissism. But ah. ego, uh, my understanding of ego is our reflection, what we envision ourselves to be, what we think we are. Mm -hmm. And that's what my album is. And that's what I wanted to, to call my first album. Instead of giving it a self-title, mm -hmm. naming it after myself, mm -hmm. or calling it the beginning, or all the other cliches <laughs> other artists to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say, to give a mirror of who I am, mm -hmm. ego. A mirror of who you are and, yes. and your personality. Yes. And it's not that you're a narcissistic or anything. It's just no. that that's, I just see myself in this power. And yes. It is what it is. Exactly. So why did you decide you cho you are on this genre of music, Afro Soul? Why not, you know, pop? Why not? Why? Um, I, I don't. It, it just happens. I, mm -hmm. I don't force it. I, I don't wake up and say, the song I have to write has to be Afro Soul. Mm -hmm. it, it just it just comes, it just happens. I think that's a beautiful thing about being a songwriter uh -huh. and an artist is that things just, it's a calling sort of, mm -hmm. you don't choose it. it ha tomorrow I'm gonna try a reggae song. Mm -hmm. The next day I can, I can, I think I have a hip hop song or something. It, it just, <laughs> it comes as, as, as out of you, nowhere. Wherever yeah. your soul leads you. Yes, but mostly it just happens to be Afro Soul. Okay, because today is Entrepreneurship Tuesday and it's all about making money and it's all about uh, the business. Um, how do you finance yourself? Like, I can imagine producing an album with seven songs must have Ooh. cost a lot of money. Huh. So how do you get, how do you get financing? Um, I've, the first thing is that I've been doing this album for three years. Ooh, uh -huh. So it's not something that I woke up, I had this big bunch of, of cash and mm -hmm. I was like, let me spend on, on an album. Mm -hmm. No, I did it step by step. Anything I got, I, any, any bit of money I got, I collected it. It's a collection of, sort of money throughout the years mm -hmm. that have led me to having an album finally. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you speak your way through. I have friends who have studios I have who have bedroom studios in their in their houses, and oh, it's just like yo, uh -huh. yeah. Let, just let me record, man. Let's do something. Don't I can't afford you, and you know for a fact I can't afford you. Mm -hmm. So can we do something? Just network and, and do it. And I've, I've nailed it, and I'm happy so far. Ah, then you must be very persuasive. But what, I'm <laughs> learning, what I'm learning from yes, you is that I yes, I get that a lot. Well, I'm well, you pers are. persuasive. Okay, so then who are you outside of music? Now I'm curious. Um, outside of music, mm -hmm. um, I'm also an entrepreneur, by the way, mm -hmm. of other businesses mm -hmm. that I can get into another day. Mm -hmm. Um, very deep art artist, mm -hmm. um, not just in the, in a music sense. Mm -hmm. I get into interior design. Oh. I get into painting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, we've been painting. Oh, goodness. Um, I, um, it appears you have a lot of sides <laughs> to you. But uh, speaking of sides to you, let's talk about some of the songs that you have here. Very captivating title. A Girl Was Born. Hmm. A Girl Was Born is the first song of my album. Very mm -hmm. short song. Mm -hmm. I, th I think I mean it's long. Mm -hmm. It's the intro. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a prayer, actually. Oh. I'm um, just, yeah, a prayer for, I say... In, in to translate it to English, I say, may all my enemies fall, may all your enemies fall, mm -hmm. may everything you touch be, be blessed, may you wake up every day. It's just a, 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 a short prayer. And I wanted it to be the first song in my album so I, I can, when someone is listening to it, it's, it's a journey throughout the album. They, they feel it with me mm -hmm. and as we talk a little more about the album, you, you'll see why it's best that it's, it's placed there. I'm, 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 I'm kind of touched to see that you decided to begin your album with a prayer. Yes. How Amen. It was already blessed from the one <laughs> yes. go. Today I've met a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs. I don't know what's happening today, Lord. Are you trying to get to me? Anyway, so <laughs> your next song is Why Am I So Beautiful? Oh, wow. my favorite song. Mm -hmm. Why Am I So Beautiful is an a cappella song. Mm -hmm. It's 
a story actually mm -hmm. about I made I came up with a scenario of a time and place where people were not allowed to see their reflections. So it's a story about a person who sees their reflection for their first for the first time and they're completely blown away. Oh wow. Um, uh -huh. But it's not in a literal sense mm -hmm. of oh I'm hot, I'm beautiful. I, it's in a deeper sense in the way that the society most times I don't want you to know who you really are. Oh, yeah. And when people are scared of you finding out who you are, it healed that. And mm -hmm. by the when they know the day you know who you are, it's over for them. It's over for everyone. It's over. Yeah, so Ooh. that's that's my idea of, of okay. why am I so beautiful. I already like the attitude of this <laughs> album. Oh, good. So good morning. So you are like, okay, so now I have to see myself. So good morning, Good bro. morning. Good yeah. morning. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Good morning is... is good and then morning it was a, a good morning um and it's also a story most of the songs in the album are stories about um an awakening just waking up and find one day and have you ever woken up from out of a bad breakup or you the the one day that you finally healed you just woke up one day and you're like oh i feel better like the pain is gone the heart is gone everything that's what good morning is um everything is in the past and now i feel i feel fresh kind of like nina simone's feeling good mm. it's just that that fresh you've gotten your power back eh? <laughs> yes the dark night is over and now it's the dawn yes oh goodness goodness oh, <laughs> i'm really excited okay so now after you wake up from the dawn and you feel good you drop the flyest girl in nairobi mm. No, that's ego right there. But anyway, yeah, let's talk about that. The, the flyest girl. I like how there's, there's something witty. I'm, I'm going to call it witty because I have to give myself mm -hmm. prop. Mm -hmm. uh, I did with the titles. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone looks at the titles, they see ego. Yeah. But the stories hidden behind them are not exactly what you think. Yeah. So the flyest girl in Nairobi is a story about a girl who's jealous that their better half mm -hmm. Uh, is in love with someone who they think is the flyest girl in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So the story is, it's, it's a jealousy story. Mm -hmm. And having the ability to address mm -hmm. that, you know what, I'm feeling jealous. Mm -hmm. To me, I think that's power, that's ego, just saying, you know what, honey, I'm, I'm feeling bad. Is the, who is this girl? You know, <laughs> other than keeping it in your uh -huh. heart, mm -hmm. stalking, mm -hmm. checking all the time. I feel like that's weakness. Mm -hmm. Addressing things head on with no fear. To me, mm -hmm. that's ego, that's power. And that's what that song is. It's ego healing, not really ego death. Yes. Really, <laughs> just let it out. You yes. know, just like Ugh. you have the power it's in your hands. Uh huh. Say it, talk it out. Ah, there's so much power and process in this. Okay, so your next song is "Tell Me." What did you want us to tell you? Or what? What, what, what was going on? <laughs> tell me, kind of has that same energy with the flyest girl in Nairobi, mm -hmm. or just having the confidence of addr addressing things head on mm -hmm. um, I usually like when there's a situation at hand when mm -hmm. there's tension mm -hmm. and things like that just when someone says is, is everything okay you know the mood feels awkward can yeah. we talk about it mm -hmm. that's that's what that's what tell me is about just addressing tell me tell me what's going on tell me why you're acting funny mm -hmm. tell me why you're playing with my feelings tell me why you're wasting my time mm -hmm. that's communication what, yes that's what that is about. Uh-huh. I can see, I can see. Wait, before we go to your last song, because I think that one has just taken the spirituality to a whole other level. <laughs> so, but anyway, let's have a look at your Instagram page here. Or what is this? This your is website? my website. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, so well done. So who made this? How much did it cost? <laughs> How long has it been up? You know? Oh, uh, a good friend of mine named Steve made for me this website. You are really persuasive. I think that of okay, uh -huh. <laughs> I told I'm persuasive. Uh -huh. I am. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's been up for a few years, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Two years now. Mm -hmm. Three, I think. Yes. How is it doing? How are the fans responding to you? Oh wait. No. Let me before I go there, let's okay. let's finish with the speaking in tongues. You okay. know, let's 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 finish with this. Okay. So what was going on with speaking in tongues? Um, speaking in tongues is a serenade. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh. Um, it's a story about someone who says some, who says another person, love at first sight, kind of, and they're hitting on them. So in this song, I kind of like introduce myself several times because sometimes I feel like people forget who you are. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, people can disrespect you and you wonder, like, did you forget who I am? And the song has kind of the, that energy of, let me remind you <laughs> who I am. At the same time, it's, it's sort of a, a, a serenade of, of the thought of having the confidence of hitting on someone mm -hmm. as a girl. I think women are kind of like, shamed about it like put to the side like mm -hmm. i can't believe you approached that person mm -hmm. but speaking in tongues has that energy of someone i speak in french i speak in the luo i speak in swahili i speak in english so that's where the name comes from mm -hmm. yes that is amazing. I find you so good to be around. You feel so good. Your energy is so good. But Thank anyway, you. before I take it anywhere else, so let's talk about your inspirations and also how do people respond? Okay, so now that you're here, you're telling your story, you're living your life, you're doing your thing, you've woken up from whatever slumber you were in, you've woken up and now you're the boss, you know? Mm. So, um, yeah, how do people respond? To mm. the album. Mm. Um, I have a very small but keen fan base. Um, what? What's that you say? Small but keen. Okay. You know, the, it, it could be like, you could have a thousand fans. Yeah. And you only get two likes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah. But I have a, a, a small and keen fan base. I'm really thankful for, and they are really, it, it's, it's really different. The fun thing, the one thing I have fun with mm -hmm. as an artist mm -hmm. is, and I, I shock myself. I, um, I, I can't predict what I'm going to do the next time, the mm -hmm. next day, tomorrow, or the other. I just always, I get shocked mm -hmm. when I wake up. And that's the same way my, fan, my fans felt when mm -hmm. they saw the album, because the, what they expected from me as an artist is not what they, it's an, another thing and, and better. And I like that. I, like, I that. like that too. I felt <laughs> it too. I feel so good. I feel like I don't even want to keep reading any more questions. <laughs> I feel like, oh, okay. So now what's next? So after Ego, what are you going to do next? Um, I'm planning on releasing, I think I'm going to do maybe two or one videos from the album. It will be my first music video because for a long time I was, I'm, I'm so against doing videos. I'm really against it. Why? Because I believe music should be hard. Should be, you should, be, should listen to, to the music. Mm. But at the same time, I'm, I'm growing into the idea of representing a story with visuals. So... I'll probably do a video, or I'm working on one actually, a video or two maybe, that's what I'm gonna work on. Mm -hmm. And after that I'll release maybe other songs outside of that. Okay, from yeah. the looks of it, your videos are not gonna be too busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's talk about maybe other people who inspire you in, the, in this industry. Like, I'm kind of surprised with the whole philosophy on life because it's, I've never met an artist with that kind of philosophy. <laughs> I thought it was just the rest of us, I don't know. But anyway, is there anybody who inspires you? Uh, I always find that question so hard. Mm -hmm. Because, um, huh? ego, yeah, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> to say that someone was in, in, inspiring me would mean that they, I just want what they, what they have mostly, or I'm looking up to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, not to get mistaken, there's so many people in the industry who are doing a very, very good job, mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I seek inspiration from people's songs, mm -hmm. not them, not them as a brand, if not who they are. You're um, studying their souls, like yeah, whatever them, energies they're putting their out. Their music, songs. All right, all yeah. right. That's amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm so honored to meet you today. I don't know what was going I on to today. I to meet you too. Oh, God. Please make sure you let the fans know where they can find you on social media. Um, this, this camera? Yeah. Um, Marianne Mandy, underscore, ah, Marianne underscore Mandy on Twitter and Instagram. Every other place, Marianne Mandy, every other place. Same YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, cpt.mandy. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like there's a question, like, I can't let you go without answering. Yes. I'm so sorry, but I got to ask, how did you get awakened? Like, how did you find yourself? What was the story behind it? How did you get awakened? Um, I feel like um, I'm a really nice person. Really <laughs> nice, really nice person in the sense that easy to heart. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. you know how uh, you could be walking, someone just splashes water on you or mm -hmm. steps on you 
and then a different person will be like, what are you doing? Why are you stepping on me? Yeah. And I'm just like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of, of person I, I am. Mm -hmm. And I went through so much without being too nice nonsense mm -hmm. that you, one day I just felt like, you know what? It's, it's time to take my, my power back. To I'm, stand I'm, in I'm your power. Slave. Yeah. Mm. Great. As in like, wow, I just feel all sorts of things right now. I'm in a good place also. Mm. I can see your Instagram page is up in here, but it's about time we conclude this interview. So maybe we can just scroll like real quick and then you can let us know what's going on here. Um, this was um, an event mm -hmm. I had at the Hedgehog Creative mm -hmm. to launch my album of the, of the South. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Okay, I can see you've also been, a, ooh, okay, you've been around, I can see you, I'm still here on TV. <laughs> anyway, that's dope, Maria. It was really, really, really lovely talking yeah. to you this morning. Thank you so much for coming Thank through. you so much for having me, I've had so much fun. Oh, me too. <laughs> anyway, so please do not go anywhere, but Moses is coming up next, the next interview. This time we're going to be taking it a bit technical, you know, so now that we have been, it's so much, oh God, I don't know, I don't know if you're feeling it, let us know if you're feeling it, I'd write to 5-4 channel. Anyway, peace.